And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. This time we're talking lightsabers. Now you've seen me talk about this, my Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Uh, this is actually a TV remote where you can change channels and things. Um, I've done a few videos about this and I really, really like it. Um, it's a lot of fun. This has actually been to a couple of interesting locations, which I'm going to do videos about in the future. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like the Return of the Jedi lightsaber. And um, interesting point in the poster here, where the, the person is holding it up for the painter to make the poster out of. The model who was doing that, that was actually George Lucas back in 82 or 83. In preparation for making this painting, he held the hilt and had somebody do the artwork. So those are, those are George Lucas's hands there. That's kind of a, a cool side note. But yes, the, um, the Return of the Jedi lightsaber, it's nice. Uh, and I really enjoyed this purchase, but this was not the lightsaber I dreamed about as a kid when I uh, thought about, you know, taking on Sith and Stormtroopers and all that kind of stuff. This was not the lightsaber I thought about. What I thought about was Luke's lightsaber from A New Hope and Return of, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Um, this, to me, was sort of the holy grail of all lightsabers. I wanted this, I love this thing. I really, really wanted to get some version of this that I could use. Uh, now this actual device here is, of all things, a flashlight. Yeah, it's got blue LEDs in it. Actually does a pretty good job of being a flashlight. I really like this. This is a recent release though. This thing has only been around a few years, but um, heck of a lot of fun. I like my, I like my flashlight. But this lightsaber hilt has been very difficult to actually get in some kind of prop form that I could have in my collection. Um, the, um, there was one eventually made, and I want to say it's by Master Replicas. I don't know if that's true, but I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Um, they, it was like properly licensed and very high quality metal material, display case and everything. But I think it went for about four or five hundred dollars, and I thought, look, I like the lightsaber. I'm not spending that much money on it. Forget it. So this just remained something I could never really consider. However, I remember posting a question or a comment about, no, I'm not spending four hundred bucks on this thing. And somebody mentioned, you know, there's Parks Sabers, right? And I was like, what? Like Ray Park, who played Darth Maul? They're like, no, no, no. This is some guy out of, I think, L.A. who makes. Uh, metal machined hilts that are uh, lightsaber-esque and they're not officially licensed and, but they're a very much much more reasonable price tag. So I had a look on their website, found a model that I really liked. I hope they're still in business. I haven't looked recently but uh, really love park sabers and that's where I got this. This is a parks saber uh, lightsaber hilt. It's all machined metal. It's got a good heft to it got good grips. It, it looks very much very similar without being like a carbon copy, which would be obviously a point of contention for uh, copyright infringement. But it looks very close to Luke's lightsaber from New Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back. It's got the curve here. It's got, you know, where the blade would come out. Um, some kind of neat little greeblies here. It just, it, it feels good. And it's got a D-ring to hang it on my belt so that I can uh, pretend that I'm Luke Skywalker. And I, I really like this, and I think this was like 50 bucks. Now that's about 10 or 12 years ago. It's probably way more than that now. In fact, now that I think about it, no, it was maybe 15 to 20 years ago that I got this. Wow. Anyway, yeah, I really, really love this thing. Always been very, very happy with it. And I thought, I got, yeah, good, good value for my money there. Park Saber. And then I remember thinking, well, wouldn't it have been nice if they had made one that the blade had come out in some way, you know, just to sort of round out the collection. I'm sure if they did, it would be uh, very flaky, wouldn't work very well, and also would be exorbitantly expensive. And then around the time of, I think, Phantom Menace or something like that, Master Replicas made the Force Effects series of lightsabers, where you've got like Obi-Wans with, you know, that strange... Uh, spiky ball on the bottom, Qui-Gon Jinn, and um, it actually has a, a blade that comes out. Um, and I thought, well, those are nice and all, but um, I'm not into the new trilogy that much. Oh, well, it would have been nice to get Luke's lightsaber. I guess that's not going to happen. 
And then I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. At some point, Anakin's going to make this because Ben is going to give it to Luke many years later. So if I just uh, wait patiently, maybe we'll see such a thing. And lo and behold, Master Replicas made Anakin's lightsaber. And it glows blue. And here it is. This is the Anakin Episode 2 lightsaber from uh, Master Replicas with the Force effects in it. Uh, do you remember around the time uh, around the time this thing came out, uh, do you remember Indiglo watches where it had like a material in it, you just hit a button and a very small amount of light would spread evenly across this uh, like glow-in-the-dark type stuff? That's what's in here. Uh, Master Replicas put that inside, put a, a battery pack down here and even a speaker, and when you hit the button, it glows blue, and it's consistent right the way to the end. This is a great lightsaber. This looks the part. It's it's the shape of Luke's lightsaber from, uh, you know, New Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back. So I was very, very happy to get this, and it was like 120 bucks. I thought, yeah, that's a reasonable price tag. I will buy this. Good, solid, um, heavy, you know, cast aluminum here. It's, it feels good in the hand. Fantastic. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, wait a minute, why would it have speakers if... Clearly, it's not making any noise. This did work for a while. This was a fully functioning, with sound effects, lightsaber. And then it just suddenly stopped working one day, uh, maybe six months into uh, me playing around with it. And I was a bit bummed about that, but uh, apparently that was sort of a known issue, and if you wrote to Master Replicas, they would send you a replacement. And they did. So not long later, after sending in my request, Master Replicas sent a replacement, and this one works. It's got the sounds, it's got the great blade, does the... It's fantastic, it's a really, really... I thought, yes, I finally met the, the lightsaber of my dreams, if you will. This is the Luke-ish lightsaber that I'd always wanted. And it does the blue glow, it's got the sound effects, speaker's working great. I'm very, very happy with my purchase. Until Master Replicas went and did it again. Now, I thought I was done with lightsabers. I thought, okay, I've got the Anakin one. It looks pretty close to what I wanted. It. It's finally working. Very, very happy that Master Replicas would send out replacement units after what had happened with their previous uh, first generation of those uh, lightsabers. And yeah, I am now done. Very, very happy. And then, unfortunately, they released this. This is the genuine labeled Luke lightsaber, and I can see now it actually doesn't look like that Anakin one. Yeah, it's got the curved thing here, but um, it has very different uh, uh, pieces on it. And um, what I really like about this one, in addition to being properly Luke's, is they did away with the Indiglo thing. They don't actually have that material in here now because I think they ran into further problems with it beyond just the sound sometimes kicking out. Sometimes they wouldn't even light up after a while. I, I think that ran into quite a few issues. So they actually decided to replace them with a series of LEDs that actually turn on and off. And that gives you the proper lightsaber ignition look. They actually go up all the way and when you turn it off, they go all down all the way. That's the proper way to do it. Um, I will admit you can, if you look carefully, make out the little segmented pieces of the light. I mean, it's it's you really have to nitpick for that. But um, yeah, that's one downside. But the fact that the blade goes in and out like it should, like it's seen in the film, I was just like, oh, I've got to get this one. I mean, this is, to me, the perfect lightsaber. And again, it was the same, about 120 bucks. Yes, very, very pleased. Um, I think I even prefer the sound out of this one. It, it doesn't, it's not quite as loud and raspy. I'm not sure. It's got the good sort of, um, the whoosh sound as you wave it around. And uh, if it comes into contact with something else, it makes the clash. And it's got several different clash sound effects in it. Um, in addition to that, I'll just turn it off here. In addition to that, what I also really like, and um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm sure as heck not opening those other lightsabers again, but you actually just unscrew the bottom 
and then this cartridge comes out and that's where you put the uh, batteries inside. That's a lot easier than the Anakin. The Anakin, they actually had it set up so you have to like turn, rotate this piece and there's a couple of screws and then you undo both one of the screws and you have to spin this thing. It was, it was a real annoyance for changing the batteries. The design of this is a million times better. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased. I was more than happy to once again drop 120 bucks, but I got the Luke lightsaber with the sounds and the light effect. I'm a very happy camper. This is a great part of my collection that I really, really love. I'm so happy that I've got this. Uh, I don't know if they're still available. I assume so. I mean, it's a, it's got to have been a big seller for Master Replicas. Um, if you like lightsabers like I do, and if you have been looking for Luke's all these years like I have, you want to get this one. This is the one for your collection. Um, what else can I say? I think that's about it. Yes, I've got my Luke lightsaber. Very, very happy. Still very happy with the Return of the Jedi one as well, but um, yeah. Really, really glad I finally got this. It, uh, it was quite a, a long, arduous task of buying non-licensed -lic uh, lightsabers and also uh, the unfortunate um, uh, incidents with the Anakins. But yes, I have my Luke, and I'm very, very pleased. And it comes with a nice little display stand and everything. So there you go. There it is. Luke's lightsaber. Love it. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.